these signs shall follow them that believe. He didn't say these signs shall follow evangelists. No, he said these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall rule over demons. He said they shall cast out, cast out devils. You know, you come into a place and say, who put this thing here? Come. In my name, they shall cast out devils. I remember reading one time, you know, many years ago, I was reading a book by a certain evangelist. And in his book, he said, we, we, we ought to realize that we ought to talk to Satan with some respect. I thought, dear God, dear God, or talk to Satan with, with some respect don't you know what jesus said cast out he didn't say in my name you shall ask them to go a cast cast do you know <laughs> the synonyms will be kick out throw out push out with force not push out gradually push out with force kick out that's not respectful Hallelujah. We don't have to talk to the devil with respect. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I know that Michael um, and Satan uh, had an argument over the body of Moses. And, and, and uh, Michael didn't say anything but the Lord, the Lord rebuked thee. That's what he said to Satan. But that's Michael. At the time that it happened, did you know why Michael spoke to him like that? It wasn't because Satan used to be his senior. Uh-uh. It was because Satan at that time had Adamic authority, which was higher than angelic authority. Because when Adam fell in the garden, he submitted his authority to Satan. That's how Satan became the god of this world. So when Michael met him, Michael was respecting the authority of Adam, which Satan had now taken. When Jesus came, the second Adam, being born again by the resurrection from the dead, he said, in my name you shall cast out devils. So we have a higher authority than Adam had. A higher authority than Satan had, than Michael had. What is our authority? I'll tell you. The Bible says, when he died, we died with him. Jesus Christ, when he was buried, we were buried with him. When God raised him up, we were raised together with him. And now, he says, we are seated together with him in the heavenly realms that's our authority our authority is not the authority of a religious person our authority is the authority of the very blessed son of god jesus christ we come in his name we function in his name do you understand what we're talking about satan will not have a, a negotiation with jesus jesus will not stoop down to his level and talk about how okay now now um all right so you have to leave you know that these are my people jesus <laughs> he said i beheld satan fall from heaven as lightning therefore i give you power authority to tread tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over all the power the ability of the enemy and he says and nothing shall by any means uh -huh. <laughs> hey glory to god nothing shall by any means hurt you if satan showed up in your room you don't have to be scared of him you open your eyes and look at him say,
remember years ago that I was sleeping but you know in the spirit if you're alert in the spirit you don't sleep in the spirit except you're not alert if your spirit is alive and awake even if you were sleeping if there's a, an activity of the spirit that concerns you you'd wake up and you know on this evil spirit came right into the room I was sleeping and my eyes just opened and I turned to him when I say in there, I couldn't I couldn't get to say the rest of it before he was out <laughs> I didn't get to say the rest of it and he was gone hallelujah listen Christ is in you do you know what that means his life is in you the life of Christ when you receive the word you see the word of God is the life of God all right the word of God is the nature of God the word of God is his very is his essence okay now when you hear the word with your ears it goes through your mind which is the door to your spirit if you accept it it will go into your spirit if you don't accept it with your mind it will not get into your spirit that's why the Bible says that those who um, it says those who received seed by the wayside and the birds came and picked them up were those who heard the word and didn't understand and Satan came immediately and stole the word okay all right so when the word of God gets into your heart into your spirit it becomes parts of your spirit